The Arthrex cannulated revision bone dowels offer surgeons a quick and effective solution for filling the bone void left in the metatarsal head following the removal of a cartiva implant. The cannulated bone dowels provide immediate structure and biologic architecture for stability and incorporation. Soaking the graft in biologic fluids prior to implantation allows for an infusion of growth factors and cells to assist with the integration of the bone graft. Initially, a 1.6 mm guide wire is used to skewer the failed Curtiva implant and remove it from the metatarsal head. The same guide wire is placed centrally into the void left from the removed implant, and the appropriately sized reamer is placed over the guide wire to prepare the metatarsal head for the bone dowel. It is recommended to drill at least 5 mm past the original length drilled for the Curtiva implant. The cannulated bone dowel is then placed over the guide wire and tamped into place using the cannulated bone tamp and optional graft delivery tube. Note that the bone graft may be left a few millimeters proud. Place the metatarsal reamer over the guide wire to simultaneously prepare the metatarsal head for fusion and contour the bone dowel until it is flush with the surrounding bone. It is important to remove all the original native cartilage from the metatarsal head as standard when preparing a joint for fusion. Insert a 1.6 mm guide wire into the proximal phalanx and use the phalangeal reamer to prepare the base of the phalanx. Place the joint in the correct position and temporarily fixate the MTP fusion plate with BB tacks. From this point, continue following standard practices for fixating the MTP plate and completing the fusion.